I'm a huge fan of task management apps, and there's a lot of good ones out there. In fact, I've got several friends that will use these, and I can only aspire to be as productive and as efficient as they are. But I typically get caught up in the minutia of that. I, I try to make it perfect, and I end up spending more time working on the task management technology than actually saving time in the work I need to get done. I just want a simple app where I can create a list and then quickly just add items to that list. And the good news is I found an app. It's called Wonderlist. Actually, it was developed out of Germany, so I like to say Wunderlist. But alas, I am not the only one that liked Wonderlist. In fact, a few years ago, Microsoft acquired Wonderlist in 2015. Now, since then, the app has hit a couple of snags along the way, but Microsoft actually took the best features and components of Wunderlist and they created a new app called Microsoft To Do. And I am thrilled to report that Microsoft To Do fills that to-do gap for me. Microsoft To Do is a simple, easy-peasy app that just lets me create lists and then add tasks or to-do items to that list. There's no need for any kind of task management craziness, although you can go there if you'd like. All you have to do is just open the app, you tap New List down at the bottom, and you can actually name this whatever you want to name it. It doesn't have to be necessarily to-dos. It can be a workout regimen. Once you create a list, then you just start adding items to it, like uh, 120 sit-ups. You get the idea. And what's great about this is that once you create it on one device, it syncs to all your other computers and devices, Windows, Mac, iPhone, iPad, Android device, so you can get access to the to-do app from wherever you are. But here is the absolute best part of Microsoft To Do. It is the pling. When you go into a list and you are finished with a task, you simply just tap it complete and you get the pling. That is the pling of accomplishment. That is the pling of doing something good, of getting something done. That is the pling of feel good productivity dopamine. And if that isn't enough, the app is completely free. Now, you do need a free Microsoft account to actually use it. This is the same account you might already use on your Xbox or for Skype. Now, if you have a subscription to Office 365 or Microsoft 365, then you can use that account as well since the Microsoft To-Do app will also integrate in with your Outlook. Okay, now for just a few more details. First, you can actually freely move your lists around. If you just tap and hold on a list, you can see that you can drag it up and down and rearrange them in a way that is most helpful to you. You can also group your list together. You can click the little sign down here at the bottom to create a new group, or even easier, you just take one of your list, drag it on top of another one, and when you drop it on top of it, you can see it creates an automatic group there for you. And how cute is this? You can actually go in and if you want your uh, list to have a little bit more character, you can go in and put a little emoji at the beginning of the list. And now when you jump out of that, you can see that it actually puts that little icon in front of the list there. In each task, you can add steps or what I kind of think of as subtasks. It's just an easy way to break down a big task into several manageable bite-sized chunks. So you can just tap add steps. So first I got to find the wires. And then after that, I got to find the clamps. So you can just keep adding things here for each step. Now, if you accidentally tap something as complete and you get that lovely pling sound, you can just tap it again to uncheck it. You can also add notes down to the bottom of any task. Say, for example, if it's something about the book that you just finished reading or something you want to remember about that specific task, you can just free type that into the notes section. You can also add files to any task. You just simply tap add file. You can 
put in a photo. You're, you're limited to 25 megabytes per task, but that's plenty for adding a picture or for a file. And because of the files app that's available on iOS, you can actually pull something in from Dropbox, for example. Just go into your files. You can find the file that you want to add and tap it there to add it directly into Microsoft To Do. Now, if you prefer, you could actually add a reminder or a due date to one of these tasks. And if you do so, those tasks then will show up in a special list at the top called planned. Anything that you add a due date or a reminder will appear, appear here. Another special list is called My Day. Now what's great about this is that you can go into some of these tasks that you know you want to accomplish that day. I wouldn't add more than two or three or four, which sounds like, well, you wanna do more. I realize that, but this is literally just to make sure that you are focusing on the specific tasks that you want to accomplish that day. Once you go into a task and you add that to my day, you can then go back to that special list and you see them listed there as opposed to looking at the entire list, which is a little overwhelming many times. And then lastly, you can share a list or assign a list to someone else by simply tapping in the list and hitting that little plus person uh, icon up there in the top. And you can see you can share this via a message or an email and they'll need to have their own free Microsoft account in order to get access to the list that you shared with them. So you can see how simple and easy Microsoft To Do is to use. It's just a great way to capture all that information going through your head. Now you can get a little more complicated if you'd like. In fact, I've worked with a lawyer before that uses Microsoft To Do as a way just to keep themselves reminded about a court date coming up or having a call with a client. Before you go, I've got a couple of quick tips for you. You can easily search for words or phrases throughout Microsoft To Do, but here's a sort of hidden tip to actually apply tags to tasks by simply using the hashtag. You just simply put a hashtag before a word and it immediately turns it into a tappable tag. So if I go in and tap on the hashtag measure, you can see that it immediately pulls up all of the tasks that contain that hashtag, regardless of what list that it's in. If you like Microsoft To Do, you can use it as your default reminders app instead of the Apple reminders app so that everything is in one place. First, go to settings and make sure your Microsoft account associated with To Do is added there. And then make sure that Reminders is toggled on for that account. Then go into Settings and Reminders and tap the default list to select the list that you want Reminders added to. Now, when you tell Siri to remind you with something, it will be placed there instead of the default Reminders app. Microsoft To Do is a free app and definitely worth checking out. If you're a Windows user, this will even integrate with your Microsoft Outlook software. You can find more app reviews at my Apps in Law blog, that's appsinlaw.com, and be sure to hit the subscribe button below. It also helps us when you hit the thumbs up like button. Thanks for watching.